Hi friends, I am Rijo. Uh, today we are just plan to cover the topic Microsoft Intune hot patch configuration. So currently this uh, configuration is preview mode. You can uh, develop and check in your uh, devices. So let's we will go for our learning objective. Uh, what is the hot patch update and configuration pre-request? Demo how to we can configure the hot patch configuration in the Microsoft Intune port. Let's we will go for our learning objective. So what is hot patch update? Allow user to install certain security update on Windows operating system without require a system reboot. So the user can install the update without need to reboot. So it will be minimize the disruption and downtime. Monthly B release security update that can be installed without require or restart the device. You already know Microsoft will be produce security update for the patching for every month. You can install this update without restart your devices. So it's support for the hot patch. No change are required to your existing update ring configuration. If you are already an update ring available, then there are no any changes need. Maintaining on hot patch update does not change the existing deadline driven or schedule install configuration. For you manage the device, the first and active hour setting will be same. So what configuration you are configured in the your uh, ring? So it does not affect for the when hot patch will be turning on. So what are the configuration pre request? First, we check the license. You need business premium or A3 plus, E3 plus, and F3 licenses. And the operating system must be Windows 11, 24S2 or later. And virtual based security VBS turn on for the devices to be offered hot patch update. VBS needed to turn on your devices. So you can turn on your device using Windows 11. How to we can turn on? Go to Windows security, device security, core isolation details, and memory integrity. And in Dune, you need to create the configuration profile, device and device configuration profile, setting at the virtual base security. In ARM64 devices, you must be disabled the compiled hybrid PUSA. So now you understand what is hot patch and how what are the configuration prerequisites for the hot patch. This we will go for the next slide. Uh, this one demo how to we can enable the Windows hot patch. So let's I will go for our Microsoft Indune portal. We will discuss for how to enable the Windows hot patch. Reach our Microsoft Indoon Admin Center. So just we will go for our devices. Then we need to go for our app Windows. Then we just go for Windows updates. Then here you can see feature update, quality update. Just click the quality update. Then after that you can see Windows quality update ports. This is a hot patch setting windows quality update policy before configure and quality update if you need to enable the win windows virtualized vbs so how to we can enable in the vbs through microsoft Indoon portal just to go for the configuration profile then create one policy new policy then select your platform then profile type setting catalog then create then after that you need to virtual base security enable name you give same description also then click next here you need to add the setting catalog search virtual base then click search then you can see device guard you can see here enable the virtual base security just click and close it you can see enable the virtual base security just click enable virtual base security then click next Currently, I don't add the swap tab. Then go to assignment. So here you can give the add groups. So previously we already have some rings. So you can give the update for the configuration of a ring. If you need to add in the rings, you can add. Otherwise, you can add from the device basis. You can add from the whatever the group. So I just apply for the my all the ring. Then select. Then after that, click next then click create so now policy is created so here you can see virtualized base security enable just click that one you can see here the virtual base security enable we create the policy once you create created you can go for device assignment status and presetting status so now virtual base security we enable so we can and check for how to the windows 11 device enable for the virtualized base security enable so just go for the uh, my current devices so i just go for settings 
then after that privacy and security window security then here you can see device security click device security then here you can see core isolation core isolation keep your device safety and protection and security processor your platform process so this one core isolation detail you click then you can see the memory integrity prevent attack from inside a malicious code on to the high security so this will be take it on low on so memory access protection everything will be enabled so that is currently i am using the device i just enabled already so it will be showing like this so once you enable the uh, intune you need to let that policy will be completely populate your device this will be enabled for your vbss so now you understand how to enable the vbss so after that uh, we needed to check our licenses if you have already we are using for e3 licenses currently we have the hot patch update available so now we need to configure our hot patch update so just go for the devices then windows just go for windows update then go for the quality update then just go for the windows quality policy preview here you can enable hot patch So just copy same description whatever the name you want you just see so here you can see define the quality update policy setting below device assigned to the policy must, must be pre requirement so our device will be check for the pre requirement then after that automatic update deployment apply the latest quality quality update for security allow then when available up without restarting the device is like auto patch then it click allow then click the next then here we need to assign our groups so just to click add the groups then after that which group console department so we just select then after that if you have need to exclude any group you can exclude then you click next so now the we update our windows quality update hot patch policy then after that click So now the policy is created completely. So you understand how to enable the hot patch in Microsoft Intune portal. So it's currently in the preview mode. Uh, you can test your devices and check how to this is working for your devices. So I am now wind up my topic. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you so much.